Hi, you a mighty one, motherfuckers. I am Daranak, and I am pissed off. Oh yeah, let me include Iron, Iron Cross 66106, because you're part of this shit, too. Um, I'm gonna tear your entire part, your entire video apart right now, that you guys use to run, uh, South Dakota Girl 30, which, which her new channel was Soul Sweetful Girl, uh, off of YouTube again. And, uh, before I do, I would like you guys to read this. As that just said, this is all under fair use. Good luck trying to false flag me or DMCA me. Because if you do, this video will go viral. Elizabeth Elijah Nakamo, Elizabeth Elijah Nakamo, Elizabeth Elijah Nakamo. You guys plaster her name all over your websites and all over the Mighty Wind channels. Her name is public use on YouTube because of that. And you cannot flag a video for anybody saying her name at all. That little clip of me saying her name three times, get used to it because it's going to happen a hell of a lot in this video. Ashley, sweet, soulful, sassy. Elizabeth Elijah Nakamo. Elizabeth Elijah Nakamo. Elizabeth Elijah Nakamo. There's something that I've been really, really wanting to tell you. It's something that I've been wanting to tell you for so long now that, um, well, you know, I just can't really contain myself. Um, are you coming on to her? Uh, I'm sorry to break your little bubble girl, but she has a boyfriend, and I'm pretty sure that you know that. And I'm pretty sure that she doesn't really swing that way. And even if she did, I'm pretty sure that she would pick a much better person than a cut like you. So, um, just, you know, sit back, you know, take some popcorn, eat it on the couch, and, uh, we're just gonna get this show going, alright? I'm gonna write, read you this letter, and it's a really long letter, so you might want to sit back and listen to it, and, you know... So here it goes. Aw, how sweet. You wrote her a letter. Are you showing off that you actually graduated from kindergarten? Maybe I'm giving you too much credit with that. I think I just insulted kindergartens there. Dear Ashley. Dear Reprobate. That's it. Oh, I see I was right. You didn't even graduate from kindergarten to actually put together an actual coherent letter at all. Just two words. Oh, wow. More like we're going to get pissed off and show you guys and show everybody the ignorant, bigoted assholes that you are. Because somebody that at one point 
was thinking about joining you saw how nutballs you actually are and decided not to join. Yeah, let's have fun, shall we? <laughs> Did you look in a mirror? Oh, they're going to enjoy my version of your video. Very, very much so. Oh, Judas, you've sold him out. Okay, so you're trying to equ uh, equate South Dakota girl uh, 30 with recognizing the cult that you actually are with Judas selling out Jesus. Is there no low that you guys will sink to? Just wondering on that, you know. How does it feel to sit up high and mighty in your, like, little almighty wind throne looking down on people. Hmm? Just wondering, how does that feel? What made you do it? What's it all about? What made Ashley do it was recognizing that you people are fucking insane. When did it all change? What made you stray? You people are fucking insane. Anybody who uses even an ounce of fucking rationality would stray away from you. That's why. Why the sudden change of heart? What drove you away? As the silver pieces jingle inside your money purse. Do you feel any richer? Or do you feel much worse? Actually, she feels a lot better now that she is away from you crazy motherfuckers. You know, she's raising her kids. She's got a good boyfriend that people like uh, across the board, except for people like you. You're a mighty wind cult, and I am adding Iron Cross into there because he was one of the reasons why she shut down her first channel. Oh, you people... Piss me off. What were you thinking? Just what have you done? Your friends all trusted you. Now you betrayed everyone. Oh, Judas. What's it all about? And this just proves how fucking insane you people actually are. She recognized how nuts you guys were. And instead of being sucked into your little cult... She decided to just leave you people. And she has asked, and Lasoyo has asked, and Gluteus Illuminatus has asked, and so has other people asked, for you people to just leave her alone. She didn't want, want any part to do with you anymore. You people are out of your fucking mind. And because of this video, she closed her second channel. And I don't know if she's going to come back to YouTube or not. She is a really sweet, nice, young girl. And she doesn't need this kind of bullshit from people like you. Oh, Judas, you sold Jesus out. You're a backstabbing, sneaky, two-faced crook. That's how you'll go down in every history book. Oh, The sneaky, backstabbing motherfuckers are you people at a mighty wind. You people would not leave her the fuck alone. Because she didn't want to follow your little cult. Now you're trying to, again, equate her with Judas. She has asked. And I know that I am repeating myself, but she has asked to be left alone. But no, you people had to do this again. 
And now you people have made even more enemies here on YouTube. I hope that you guys are severely ready for the shit storm that is coming your way. Because I am not the only person that is going to come at after you. And from that time on, Judas sought to betray Jesus. That's fucking hysterical that you guys want to put up the copyright notice or, or the or section 17 showing that uh, people cannot flag this because you're using it under fair use. But you guys go around flagging other people that use your material under the same fucking clause. Secondly, Ashley did not portray Jesus, okay? She left your little fucking cult because you people, again, are fucking insane. You people, false flag people, try to DMCA people, people that don't agree with your particular interpretations or made up fucking prophecies so you consider heathens. Ashley recognized that and left you guys. Hello to all of you out there. Um, I'm doing this uh, video on behalf of Mighty Wind. Yeah, because when you all do something, you do it as a little collective group, which is your guys' M.O. That's why I am targeting this at all of a Mighty Wind and not one or two people of your little cult group. Ministries. Um, these are my words. These words do not belong to to anybody from Mighty One Ministries. These are my words, and I just pray that Almighty God would speak through me. You already said that that you are speaking for all of a Mighty Wind. You can't have it both ways, little girl. All of you are feeling the heat for this. At this time, in the name of Yeshua Mashiach, and I pray that my flesh would be bound up and crucified and nailed to the cross at Calvary, in the name of Yeshua Mashiach. What the fuck is with all of these made-up words that you guys have that biblical, that biblical scholars do not recognize? And I'm doing this video today for um, a different variety of reasons, but one of the main reasons is to expose one who calls herself um, South Dakota Girl 30 but her new name her new username on YouTube is Sweet Soulful Sassy you know bitch the only thing that you're actually exposing is how insane you people are by not just leaving her alone she didn't want to be part of your little cult anymore and she said it how many times, and how many times am I repeating myself in this video? I don't know, and I don't care. Until it gets into your fucking skull, I will continue to repeat it. She doesn't want any part of you people. You people are fucking insane. Uh, she's not sweet, she's turned sour. Um, this is somebody who started off as a friend to a mighty wind. And she would. She made a video and she said that Elizabeth Elijah, to all of you who don't know who Elizabeth Elijah is, she's the pastor of a mighty wind and she's God's prophet. Yeah, yeah, people outside of your little group is going to really consider Elizabeth Elijah Nakato or however you say her last name. I don't have it in front of me right now. Yeah, they're going to really recognize her as a prophet. They will recognize her as a prophet when Thunderbolt94 recognizes me as the Pope. Okay? Um, who God uses to speak forth these prophecies of Mighty One Ministries um, in these end times. It always seems like it's the end times with people as fanatic as you at a mighty wind are. Why is that? Do you guys just want the world to end for our species to die out? You know, 
people like you make it seem like you really, really want that. Sorry to say, most of us don't. And um, so South Dakota Girl 30 made a video and she said that Elizabeth Elijah is a blessing to her and she's like, you know, she kind of, you know, she's very blessed by her and she's not fully in a Mighty One Ministries, but, um, but she, you know, she doesn't, she kind of was like in between still, you know, when she made the video. She also said later on that she wanted nothing to do with you people. Why? Because you people are fucking insane. Um, she was, she was, however, when I saw this, um, this video, I mean, God was showing me some things about her, and, um, and they weren't good things, and I, I never had a good feeling about her, um, when I first saw this video. Maybe you saw in her that she was not buying into this bullshit. Maybe you saw into her sanity. I was hoping the best for her. I didn't know. I was just, um, I, God just dropped this in my spirit and I, I didn't know for sure. But um, the main point of this, though, is the fact that South Dakota Girl 30, or a.k.a. Sweet Soulful Sassy, is now reprobate. She is reprobate. Reprobate means her soul is destined for hell. She has no chance in living holy. She has no chance in going to heaven now. She has crossed the bloodline of Yeshua HaMashiach. She has betrayed Yah's holy ministry. She has called us a cult. She has called us all kinds of evil names. She blasphemes along with all the Satanists and people who try to infiltrate the Christian community. She does all these things and she says that she does it on behalf of Jesus Christ. Oh, so I was right. You guys have your panties and a bunch of knots because Ashley recognized you guys as a cult. She recognized how insane you all actually are. <clears throat> and because she uh, decided to leave your little cult, because it is a cult, and actually tell people how insane you people actually are and other people across the lines actually agree with her you have the audacity to sit there and say that now she is going to go to hell because she does not believe in your bullshit I hope that she comes back to YouTube stronger than ever and hands you all your ass personally. To all of you who don't know this, she has crossed the bloodline of Yahushua. This is, this is blasphemy, what she has done. And I can almost guarantee you that almost every single other denomination of Christianity would consider what you guys do blasphemy because of following a false prophet. Okay, we're not bullying her when we say this. This is the truth. And if anybody ha out there says that we're bullying her, you don't know the story. You don't know anything. So for those of you who are making videos saying we are bullying her, I suggest you take a look at both sides of the story rather than just jumping on the camera and saying we are bullying her. Then what the fuck do you call it? Huh? She's asked you to get... You guys had an almighty win and Iron Cross to leave her the fuck alone. Have yous? No. You guys are bullying her. You bullied her enough to close her first channel. You, in this video, you bullied her again and got her to close her second channel. This is bullying, you bitch. And all of yous at a muddy win are guilty of it. And, um... So anyways, um, she's, South Dakota Girl 30, I got, um, 
you know, I've been, she made a video um, recently that brought out this letter that Elizabeth Elijah uh, sent to her on YouTube. And I'm going to show this letter right now. Before we look at this letter that I've already seen, I, I would like to remind you that she asked to be left alone. And this letter is really fucking long and monotonous. She didn't want to deal with you people anymore. And I don't care how many times I have to repeat myself in this video, she just wanted to be left alone. But no. You people had to bully her. You bullied her by constant PMs, by constant videos that she's made about her. Uh, one of your friends at, at, at a muddy wind made a couple rap videos which were so fucking horrible I could have done a fucking better job at it. And you bullied her again in this video by comparing her to Judas earlier on. But... Let's get to this letter, shall we? For those of you that want to read the letter, I am zooming in as much as I can without making it blurry. Sh uh, the person that put the video together has it scrolling through kind of quickly, so you are going to have to pause to, to uh, read through it if you actually want to. It's a lot of bullshit. And as you can see in this letter, she talks about how, um, how you know, Sweet Soulful Sassy has, has betrayed a mighty win and why, and the fact that we accepted her, and the fact that Elizabeth Elijah didn't, never did anything wrong to her. She, she always, um, she called her, she, she accepted her as a daughter. Except when she started disagreeing with you guys. Then the cyberbullying began. She loved her as a, as a daughter. She, um, you know, even called her, you know, she has to pay for these phone bills across the world. This isn't, this isn't cheap here. And she did this out of love for this, for this woman and she wanted to to show her love and she wanted to warn her as well and just to tell her that um she wanted to tell her that you know the, also that these people are evil these people that she's dealing with the ones who she calls her friends on YouTube the ones that are enemies of mighty wind because they're enemies of God it's not because they're enemies of us they're enemies of the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach they're infiltrating the Christian community they're trying to deceive innocent sheep and lambs and lead them astray and um, so Elizabeth Elijah was trying to warn her of this and she's trying for her soul's sake just like if you watch our other members of a mighty ones videos you'll see that we were also trying to warn her for her soul's sake well recently after the phone um, after the phone conversation after Elizabeth Elijah called her um, she was considered a Judas. She was considered a Judas because she betrayed a Mighty Wind Ministries. She betrayed us. She didn't heed to the warning. She did not. She kept on befriending these enemies. She kept accepting their demons. 
okay, lightness and darkness cannot go together. And then she starts after she finds out that we're saying that she's a Judas because it's the truth. God said this. God said she's a Judas. It's not just us saying these things. It's God Almighty saying these things. It is the truth. God cannot lie. She has become a Judas. And after she became a Judas, she started then slandering us, calling us a cult, saying that, saying all these blasphemous things. And then she starts going around and saying that she has a boyfriend who's, um... <laughs> okay, take a look at this guy's channel, Gluteus Illuminatus. He is, he is a Satanist. He's as reprobate as reprobate can be. He mocks Jesus Christ, the one that she claims that she loves, on his videos, he says the most vile things you can... I mean, I couldn't even really watch that stuff. I was sitting there, like, shocked when I watched them. And she's sitting there dating him and having sex with him and sleeping with... I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely disgusting. And, um... The fact of the matter is that after Mama M who we call Mama M because she is our spiritual mother, Elizabeth Elijah, wrote her the letter um, giving her, you know, trying to tell her to take off all that she said about a mighty wind. To, if she, if she would take off her videos, if she would stop doing the things that she's doing against a mighty wind, then we won't speak of her and she won't speak of us and then that'll be it. It is you people that would not stop with her and then she writes back this 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 letter and she starts saying the most ridiculous things like like laughing at mama I'm saying I'm not going to deal with your mind manipulation I'll show you the letter right here as you can see um well she says I'm not going to deal with your mind manipulation. I'm not going to deal with, um, it's ridiculous, with your cult, with all the stuff that she says. And in the first place, um, Mama Ram was just trying to tell her. She was just trying to at least show her that she was just trying to love her in the beginning. And then she went and she, and South Dakota Girl 30 did all these things. But the main thing is that Ashley, this, this girl, um, she has no problem sinning. Is that Ashley, this, this girl, um, she has no problem sinning. She uses profanity um, nonstop. She has no fruits. She doesn't have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. As you can see in all of her comments, as you can see in all of these enemies' comments, they, I mean, anybody who has eyes to see and ears to hear, listen, these enemies, South Dakota Girl 30, sweet, a.k.a. sweet, soulful, sassy, these people are filled with legions and legions of demonic powers. If you go on their channels, if you go and try to befriend them, their demons will latch onto you. If you try to to side with them. If you're sitting on the fence and you're just watching what they're doing, and especially if you don't have, if you're not pleading the blood of Yahushua over you and, and you're prayed up and you're praised up before you go on their channels, you will be deceived. You will be deceived, especially if you are living lukewarm. Especially if you're lukewarm. You need to be very careful with this kind of stuff. What? Why, how, and how is it that a mighty one preaches holiness? We preach the truth. We preach about the Ten Commandments, following the Ten Commandments. Everything that the Bible teaches, a mighty one teaches. And we try to live in holiness. And, and then they say that we're a cult. How are we a cult? We have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. We have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. A good tree has good fruit and a bad tree has bad fruit. These people have bad fruit, okay? These people have bad fruit. They're not trying to live holy. They're trying to deceive. They're trying to tell you that sinning is okay for your soul to go to hell. They want your soul. Satan wants your soul. And he's using these people. These people belong to Satan. 
And they know that they belong to Satan. That's the thing. These are the most vile of vile people you can ever imagine. You don't see this, but you don't see this, these things, especially if you just are watching from the outside. But take a look at, for instance, Red Smokey 777 Okay? Take a look. He had on his account, and I'm about to show you the video. On his account called Red Voodoo Zombie, he had a video of himself doing voodoo in the video, of him smoking in the video, of him showing voodoo masks in the video. Okay, who, who in the world who professes to be a Christian would even pretend, I would never, ever pretend to even do something like that. And yet he's sitting there willfully doing, doing voodoo in a video. It's ridiculous. Come on, people, open your eyes. Pray to God Almighty to, to open your eyes and to show you the truth. Hello, Yaz Lady in Red, and all of Yahushua's demon stompers. I've been reading your blog channel here on YouTube, and that is your blog channel for all the Almighty Wenders and uh, minus anyone else. Uh, that, and that is exactly what it is, is a blog channel and you have broken many many rules here on YouTube but a lot of people let it slide uh, you should be thankful for that you know now Donnie uh, as you're talking about a good bit here he uh, was decent enough to make a video about his shortcomings rather than seeing that you immediately attack him for anything he's done wrong and um, well and you know it's sad because a person is trying to do better in life and rather than supporting them you bash it over the head and this is typically the kind of behavior I see of what I might call people haters I know you like to call everybody God haters but you are people haters I have to ask you how can you love Jesus and hate people at the same time I really do wonder um as far as Gluteus Illuminatus, I find him to be a decent guy. I think he's somebody who cares about people. Uh, yeah, he's crude. He's an atheist. You know, was, whatever. What do you expect? Well, what do you expect? Okay. But he does treat Christians decently, who generally treat people decently. Now, I got thinking about something. And uh, I'll give you something to hopefully bring a little sunshine into your life. Yeah, something to be happy about, okay? Just picture this, okay? I'm out swimming in a creek and uh, dive off the cliff, and maybe there was a waterlogged log going down through. I didn't see it, right? Dive right in, bash my head into it. Man, I'm just knocked out, drowning in the water. I bet you love this, don't you? Okay. I'm not trying to hypnotize you either by making, telling you this story. It's not some type of hypnotic trance thing. So you don't have to worry about that. If you are concerned, just kind of look away. Don't pay too much attention to the story. Because I wouldn't want you to be like sucked into some type of voodoo mumbo jumbo new age kind of thing, you know. So anyhow, there I am flailing around, drowning in the water gasping for air but I'm knocked out and I'm dying now if I had Donnie or Glute there or most anybody I can think of but these are the two people you're mentioning on your YouTube blog channel I am sure they would try to help me and that's what I like about them they would try to help me now you on the other hand and unfortunately some of your followers but I really picture you saying praise Yahushua look he's finally dying and you'd be rejoicing you'd love that you'd think your prayers were being answered you see and that I must admit is part of what I don't really like about you it's part of what makes me feel very uncomfortable with your so-called ministry that I term as a cult. 
you're very hateful and you rejoice in pain and suffering of others. You wish and pray for their death. You are a very, very sick individual. And uh, I guess that's enough said. Anyhow, I hope I gave you something to brighten up your day. And uh, I'm glad to be back. If you're not praying, if you're not, if you're not continuously praying and you're leaning on your own understanding, you will be deceived. And that is what you did, sweet, full, sweet, soulful, sassy. That is exactly what you did. Did you ever take the time to pray and ask God if this ministry is the truth? I want you to know something. You will stand before the throne of God and you will answer to everything that you have done. Everything you have done. It doesn't matter though, I could speak all day long about this stuff. I could speak about holiness, I could speak about righteousness to you, I could speak about repentance and salvation, but it wouldn't go through to you. You're reprobate, okay? The truth is now hidden from you. You don't have the Holy Spirit. You're in the flesh forever. You're, gonna, you're destined for hell fire. I want you to know you have crossed the bloodline. You're done. You're done. And it doesn't matter if you believe my words, because the truth is, it's the truth. And you're going to find out one day. But the thing is, this video is not for you. It's for those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, who are deceived right now, or who are watching and are sitting on the fence, who are not doing anything to stand up for this ministry. This is God's holy ministry. These are not our words. When we speak, when we speak these things, okay, it's because God himself wants you guys to stand up for his holy ministry this isn't for our benefit what benefit do we get out of this we don't get any benefit out of this we're trying to help you we're trying to help you and help your soul because we love you because we love all the all those whose names are written in the lamb's book of life we care for each and every one of you even we cared for you sweet soulful sassy at one time we cared for you that's why I did that video. That's why I warned you. That was a rebuke out of love. Out of love. Yes, I said it was harsh. It was harsh. But it was a rebuke out of love for your soul's sake. But guess what? You failed your test. And I pray that all of you out there who are watching this, please, 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 just know that that the reason I'm saying these things is because I care about your soul. A Mighty One Ministries cares about your soul. Elizabeth Elijah, she does nothing. She does nothing all day long, but do, but try to do Yah's will the best that she can. Please take heed to these warnings. And Red Smoky 777. I bind and I rebuke and I send right back to your own face sevenfold all the demonic powers, all the curses, all the hexes, spells, incantations, chants, and enchantments that you try to send at us. I send them right back to your own face sevenfold for your own destruction in the name of Yushua Mashiach. We don't accept your curses. We don't accept your friendship. We don't accept any of your demons because you are a walking demon. You are, a, you are nothing but a walking demon now. And we rebuke you in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Okay, everybody, if you're drinking something, if you're smoking something, put it down now. And you can take that curse of homosexuality that you sent at us, and you can eat it sevenfold in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. I warned you. To all of you out there whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, a Mighty One Ministry welcomes you with open arms. We have Yahushua's love for all those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And we truly do love you with all of our hearts. And we are willing to do whatever it takes to explain anything in this ministry that you do not agree with. But please, if you do not understand something, about this ministry that you have seen in one of the videos that you have seen in the prophecies please do not lean on your own human intellect and understanding that is why the word says that we are not to lean on our own understanding we cannot do this we have to look through the eyes of the spirit we cannot look through the eyes of carnal flesh most of the Judases who come to a mighty one ministries 
who leave the ministry, it is because they start looking at things through the carnal flesh. They start watching the enemy's videos. They start being encapsulated by the occult powers of the enemies. Lies, lying, taunting, and deceiving spirits consume them. And there is no way out after that. And I pray that whoever watches this and is listening right now to this video, if your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, I pray that Abiy Yahweh would strip any scales off your eyes, would take the wax out of your ears that needs to be taken out. I pray for holy soundness of mind to consume you in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. I pray, holy beloved Abiy Yahweh, that you would please, please, please touch your holy ones. Touch the ones, Abiy Yahweh, who belong to you, Yahushua. You said you would not lose one whose names were written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I thank you for supporting this ministry. I thank you for for helping this ministry. And I do ask those who are not helping to please start working in this har harvest field and laboring by our side. There is so much work to be done and so few laborers in this harvest field. And we really, really need help. We need help defending the gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach, the true gospel of Yahushua HaMashiach. We need help defending the truth. And God, Yahweh, has spoken the truth through his prophecies, which line up with the Holy Scripture and the Holy Word. Please do not be deceived by these enemies that come and try to deceive you. Anytime the enemy sees someone new come to this ministry, just like a pack of wolves, ravenous, vicious wolves, they start coming and trying to devour the innocent sheep and lambs who know very little about this ministry, who know very little about God himself. And that is why people are so easily deceived, because they lack knowledge. And Yahweh said his people perish because of lack of knowledge. So I pray, Abi Yahweh, that you would please once again touch those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And please, please give them holy wisdom and discernment and knowledge. And please let them recognize the anointing of your holy Ruach HaKadosh through these prophecies, through our, through our words, Abi Yahweh, through, through these videos, Abi Yahweh, so that they may know, Father, just by the anointing that this is of you. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, I pray. Amen.